all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to make a file chooser dialog so if ever in your program you need to include the functionality to have the user select a file like this right here they click file open and then I don't know maybe select a I don't know an image or a text file whatever and also I'm going to show you not only how to do that but give you guys the ability to select entire directories so let's say you're making like a file transfer program and you want them to upload an entire folder you can do that as well it's just one little change but the concept is pretty much the same so already what I did before this tutorial started is I made just a blank screen and it has a button on it and the button says choose file so this is already everything that we learned I didn't want to waste your guys time repeating myself of you know about something you already knew so this button is hooked up to this on file clicked so this is the method that gets called whenever they click the button so let's go ahead and make this right now and instead of like the last tutorial where we made an entire separate class for that pop-up window what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick everything inside this class gonna make it nice and compact so we pass in self and widget and now let me add a comment right here I'll be like a uh, user click the open or choose file button so yeah I made it a button but sometimes you may want to connect it to a menu item that's probably more common but you know like I said gonna keep things real simple so just like before what we're gonna do is make a variable called dialog and this is gonna be equal to GTK file chooser dialog all right so this is pretty much a special dialog from GTK that allows the user to pretty much select a file or a directory and the parameters that it takes are first the title so we'll say select the file Haas and the second one is self and the third one is this so for this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this equal to GTK file chooser action open so remember the last time we set this equal to a plain modal or model still have no idea how to say it but it's pretty much like a plain pop-up well this right here says that okay this is a pop-up that lets the user pick a file now if you ever wanted them to select an entire directory then what you could do is you can change this open to select folder so just change that one keyword and then whenever they open that dialog it's going to select the directory instead of just an individual file but right now we'll just work with individual files and I'm going to hit open so that's what this is going to do and I also am going to add how can I do this alright so I'll add those default buttons too so if the user ever clicks open and then they're like oh actually I clicked that by mistake we want to give them this cancel button right here and also there are two ways that you can select a file you can just select it right here and double click it or you can select it and hit OK so let's give them both of those buttons and all that functionality is already built in which is pretty cool so GTK actually let me just do it this way you can add those um, constants that have the word OK and cancel but it's just easier just to write them to be honest so cancel and this is going to emit the GTK response type of cancel. Now I just write OK. And this is going to emit GTK response type. OK. All right. Looking good. So now what they did at this point is, well, we pretty much set up the basic construct for that dialog and now just like before whenever they open it we're just gonna run it so dialog run right like there so this is gonna run and all of the functionality that we have is already built in I mean we don't have to say okay this is how you scroll to select your file this is how you display all of the files on your desktop or whatever it's already built into GTK so we can just run it straight up like that and then we can handle the response so if response is equal to and we have 
two different things. Okay. So if they click the okay button, then what we're gonna do is, remember, here, let me pull up this demo again. Whenever the user clicks the okay button, that must mean that they had a file selected. So what we're gonna do in that case is, we'll just print out, um, you clicked the okay button. And we'll also print out whatever file name they selected. So I'll print out file selected. And let me just do it this way. Dialog dot get file name. So this function right here returns whatever file name they selected from this dialog or the pop-up window. And now what I can do is just elif response what was my other response canceled all right so if they hit cancel we'll just print out like a uh, user didn't want to select file so print user didn't choose any file and there we go actually let's change this to open since that's kind of more clearly what you want to do and we'll say you click the open button and user didn't choose any file all right well, looking good and that hopefully all right so the only thing we have to do now is just write dialog destroy and again this just ensures after they either selected a file or you know canceled out of it that the pop-up window actually closes instead of them clicking cancel and it just stays there or it's that kind of suck for them so now let's go ahead and run this all right so look at our awesome looking program right now i'm going to choose a file and then this dialog pops up now remember all of this functionality is already built into your core operating system so now i can just go to desktop whatever and i don't know i can either just select this and hit open and then you can see right here you click the open button, file selected, and it gives you the path of the file. Or what you can do is, remember we added these buttons at the bottom. So we have a cancel button and an open button. So if we just cancel out of there, user didn't choose any file, and check this out, this is pretty cool. If you just go to desktop, like I said before, you can select the file and hit open, or you can just double click it and that's going to work too. So GTK is smart enough to realize when you double click a file, it's essentially the same as selecting it. So again, that is how you do it with files. I already showed you guys how to do it with directories. So yeah, there you go. Go ahead and make programs, open files, follow your heart, and uh, yeah, achieve all your dreams. Dun, dun, I don't know what to say. I never know what to say at the end of my video. So um, see ya.